Hey guys, welcome back to Play With Circuit. In this video, we are going to make a simple line follower robot using Arduino Uno. This robot detects black line using two line sensors and moves accordingly. So let's get started and build this robot. For making line follower robot, we've used a DIY robot kit which comes with four gear motors, jumper wires, four wheels, car chases. One battery box, all necessary connectors, screws, and nuts. Apart from these, we also need an Arduino Uno L293D motor driver shield, battery pack, and jumper wires. We also need line sensor that help the robot to detect the black line. This is VCC pin, this is ground pin, this is digital output pin, and this is analog output pin. Here we are using two line sensors. Let's assemble the car now. Now we will connect black wire to left side of the motor and red wire to right side of the motor. Similarly, we will do the connections for all four motors. So let's solder the wires to the gear motor. Now we apply glue to strengthen the connections. After soldering the black and red wires and applying glue, motors look like this. This is L293D motor driver board. We need to connect our line sensors with pin A note and A1. For this, we need to connect this buzz strip to this motor driver. Now we divide this buzz strip into three equal halves with six pins each. Now we connect these buzz strips to our board. Now we need to solder here. First we will apply paste. Then we do soldering. After soldering, the driver board looks like this. Now we need to remove the protective covering from the chasis and these motor connectors. Our chasis looks like this. Now we place the motor to the chasis. Here we add connectors. We need to align these two holes. Now we are using screws to attach motor. Similarly, we attach all the motors with chases. Now we will connect these two line sensors over here like this. For this, we need M4 nuts. These do not come with the kit. Let's attach the sensors to the chassis. Then we attach the wheels. These screws are creating difficulty in wheel rotation, so we need to reverse the screws. After reversing the screws, we attach all the wheels. Now place your Arduino and motor driver board over here, and with the help of these screws, we will attach these with the chassis. These are wires of left side motors, and these are the wires of right side motors. Now we do the connections of motors with the driver board. We connect left side red wires and left side black wires with M3 and right side red wires and right side black wires with M4. Now we will do the connections of sensors according to the circuit diagram.
This is for analog input of the left sensor. This is for VCC and this is for ground. Similarly, this is for analog input of right sensor. This is for ground. And this is for VCC. Now attach the batteries to the backside. While programming, make sure this jumper is not connected. Now let's move on to coding part. First, we include the AFMotor.h library. It is used to control the motors via the Adafruit motor shield. Next, we define macros for analog input and controlling robot. Debug print is set to zero initially. You can change this to one while calibrating. Left IR and right IR refer to the analog pins, a node and A1 to which the left and right line sensors are connected. Detect limit is the threshold value that determines when a sensor detects the black line. These define the speed for forward motion, sharp turns, and slight turns. These are used to control the delay in motor actions before and after turning the robot. Now we initialize the motors. The left motor is connected to output M3, and the right motor is connected to output M4. Now we define a few global variables here. Left value and right value are used to store the sensor readings from the left and right line sensors. Last direction keeps track of the robot's last movement. Initially, it is set to S, meaning the robot is stopped. In the setup function, we initialize the serial communication if debugging is enabled. Debug print set to 1. Next, we set both motors to a speed of 0 and stop them using release, which cuts power to the motors. After that, we give the motors an initial push by setting them to full speed 255 in the forward direction. This helps the robot get moving right at the start. In the loop function, we continuously read the values from the left and right line sensors using analog read. If debugging is enabled, we print these values to the serial monitor for analysis. Next, we check the sensor values and determine the robot's movement based on which sensor detects the black line. If the right sensor detects the black line but the left sensor doesn't, the robot will turn right. If the left sensor detects the black line but the right sensor doesn't, it will turn left. If neither sensor detects the line, the robot moves forward. If both sensors detect the black line, the robot stops. Move forward function controls the robot's forward movement. If the last movement was not forward, the robot will briefly run at full speed to start moving forward. Stop function stops the robot. When both sensors detect the black line, the robot briefly moves forward to confirm the stop. If it detects the stop again, the robot stops completely. Turn right function controls the robot's right turn. If the robot turns right for the first time, it briefly stops, takes a slight turn, and then continues with a sharper turn if required. The turn left function controls a robot's left turn. If it's the first left turn, the robot stops both motors briefly, then takes a slight left by moving the right motor forward and the left motor backward at a low speed. If the robot has already turned left before, it skips the stop and takes a sharp left by running the motors at higher speed. Finally, a delay is added to allow the turn to complete before further movement. Now upload this code to your Arduino. Let's see our line follower robot in action. We have created a path with a black tape. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know in the comments what other projects you'd like to see. Thanks for watching.